Castro, and uh, I'm basically the, the founder of the uh, Columbine Mile Marathon now. It's been going on for 35 years, and, and uh, I clearly did not intend it to become the event that it had. All I wanted to do was get kids involved with running, which was my favorite sport, and uh, I had started in fifth grade, and so it was kind of fitting that I try and get those kids involved. And um, they asked me to create an event that would uh, get the kids involved with something active. So I said, well, I only do running well, and so I thought, let's do uh, a race around the school. And it turned out to be uh, about a mile, and it's, it's kept its traditional route and its traditional distance. And uh, with a new school, now it, uh, it sits on the playground where uh, the kids used to finish. So we did one large lap around the neighborhood and around the uh, school area, and then finished here. Uh, I invited some of my athletes that I was training at that point, uh, folks like Herb Lindsay, who ended up winning the Boulder Boulder five years later, and uh, Tim Cronin, who, who's now the voice of the Boulder Boulder and does commentary for him, uh, were a couple of the guys that uh, showed up that day. And so the kids had a great time. We raced them around, finished, and um, slowly it became an event that uh, the school embraced and the parents become became such a great part of this thing and now uh, Tina uh, the race organizer for today has captured all of the community and what I find especially gratifying is that the Latino parents have gotten so involved with this uh, my parents would have never done this and I just think it's so wonderful for them to interact with their kids in an active healthy event and bring the entire community together at one time I just think it's really really special